Hi, and welcome again today uh, with us. Today we are going to talk about Ambraco. Uh, maybe some of you familiar with Ambraco. Uh, if you never heard about Ambraco or was it Ambraco, it's just a CMS. It's mean a content management system. Uh, let's say more easier than this. What's mean uh, uh, Ambraco or what this CMS management system? Uh, so let me give you a small example uh, about it. Uh, let's say uh, one of the popular uh, CMS is uh, WordPress. But uh, the difference between WordPress and Ambraco is uh, Ambraco, they are using uh, .NET technologies. Uh, and uh, uh, they, in the WordPress, they are using PHP as the other platform, as a programming language too. Uh, so, uh, what is Ambraco? Uh, as I said, Ambraco is built on uh, ASP.NET, uh, MVC5, I think, and with the, yeah, sure, with the MVC5. And they are using the latest uh, version of uh, .NET uh, framework, I think uh, 7.4. Uh, oh, we will check it again. Uh, sorry, uh, 4.7. Uh, 4.7.2, I think, yeah, the latest one. I think now it's released the 8, so we'll try to use it today with the 8 version. Uh, so uh, I don't know what I want to say about Ambraco today. Just I need to give a brief uh, introduction about it. I don't want to focus more about the installation. Uh, for me, actually, I, I never use Ambraco that much because I already built my uh, my own CMS uh, with the full control panel, everything with it. But I'm here just same you just uh, curiosity, just to know more about it and see what's it Ambraco. And I will try today to do the installation, and maybe in future too, I'll, we will dig more in it to see what's the features they have on Braco, what they give people, and it's uh, full of free. And they, they said some of the some of the features they are paid if you need to host it in their cloud. Uh, actually, they have many things, uh, but as I said to you, uh, let's do the uh, more important things: is how to install it first, and see a few things in the bag and what they give us and it's the main thing it's let's say it's uh, editable I can edit the code I can customize my code it's similar to uh, WordPress let's say with the management things uh, so let's go to the illustration part uh, let's close this one so we'll try today to use Visual Studio 2019 I think it's uh, this is the latest version till today so uh, first things, as I said, we need to uh, create a new project. But this project will not be ASP Core web application. It will be uh, the dot standard, uh, the dot .NET framework. It will be uh, where is it? Not this uh, Windows forum. No, it will be ASP dot .NET uh, web application. The dot .NET framework. So let's say at next. So let's say um, Raco, uh uh, uh so here they as as i mentioned i'm using uh 4.8 but the latest version they are using with Amraco it's 472 this is very important sometimes people they choose uh, oldest old version so uh older than what they mention in the website it will give you uh error with the assembly so you need to be careful with this one just you need to choose uh 4.8 so now let's create the project Ambraco app. So here, what I need from this one. So uh, Ambraco, they give you a full package on uh, Nougat, or you can download it from their website and include it in your uh, empty project. So you don't need to add anything from here. Just you said, I need empty project. Great. Uh, so the after we create our project, uh, first things we need to. Uh, Add the packages from uh, Nougat. So first thing, GoPro. I write uh, Ambraco. Just write Ambraco CMS. We'll show you the two mail library from them. I need to choose Ambraco CMS from this one here. And hit on install. It will take time, depend on the network, because I'm a bit far from the wireless. So it will be a bit uh, slow. 
Um, I think they have many, many things. I'm just thinking. They said that even uh, you should pay for something here if you need to use it with the cloud. And black cup prices. Even they have. Uh, you can they give training, but even paid the, the bro, um, everything they put paid here. But I think there is many resources on YouTube. We can learn more about it. Uh, yeah, here if you check, you said why Ambraco. Let's go six main reason. So let's check it. What's here the main reasons? I'll try after I will dig more in uh, Ambraco. I see what they have. I'll try one day to make. Uh, I will to compare between what I have done with my CMS. And Abraco. So sure, Abraco would be better because it's a big team. It's not same. I'm just doing. I did that one by myself. I think uh, uh, last two years. But I will just. I will show you what what you have done there and what we have here. So here, Abraco. They have uh, many things. They said well, important things. Abraco. Because it's Abraco. Mm. Yeah, they have uh, many. Let's say many things built in. Uh, I check it a few. Yeah, here what we have here to choose between the best. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. And getting popular this day, you know, as ASP, it's now getting more popular. So if any uh, software built on uh, ASP, it's getting more popular too. Let's approve this one. So it's downloading all the packages. As you see, it's uh, the they use many things and they build their own uh, packages but everything is it's important just when you call uh, call this one the first call there you will see everything's here let's check again back here uh, if you go to learn they have a training as I told you here I think that TV it's free here so uh, they give certifies too nice Mm -hmm. Let me check the. They said they have TV or something there. Where is it? Where it be? Training. That's bad one. Yeah, let's uh, so let's go this one. Nice. They have more details about it, but I think it's paid. Let me see. Mm, come on, not free. You can learn many things here about it too. Yeah, nice. So let's back to our uh, Visual Studio. Uh, just here they give uh, a bit, a few things here. They say to you, uh, don't forget to build it. Let's build it now. Rebuild. You know. So here they are giving just a message when you. Uh, Upgrade. They said if you don't need to change anything in the config, just choose no. Uh, that's it. Nothing. Not too many things here. If you need to know more about the release, the notes about the release, what they have so, uh, new posts. That's not. I think it's uh, the version eight, eight point something. Uh, close the nugget. Close this one. So we build it. Now it's easy. Just run. So I'll ask you here, you need to debug it? Yeah, I'll leave it. It's on debug, better. Nothing will be happened there. Let's make our SQL ready. So it's this now it's uh, running a Braco in local. I run my SQL server too. So we'll see step by step now what will happen in the bag. Yeah, this is a new version of Visual Studio. I'm just trying to, to check how is it with the Umbraco. So let me just create database here. Uh, let's see first. I need to be step by step with you. I don't need to miss anything there. So here that's the first things coming okay nice so here they ask you to write your name i write my name and they ask you to add email after that uh, password let's say uh, 
uh, you need any any symbol let's say uh, pound one two three four five six okay remember the password don't forget it so now just hit on uh, and so if you need any update you can put update or you can uh, uh, install it or you can, let's go to custom uh, customization here what do we have in the customization I don't want to customize my machine let me check this one so here they ask you which type of uh, database you need or you have already one there you can just link it with a connection string so let's say we are using here as, as a open here you see here it's the SQL server they ask you about your server name you should write your server name I'm just putting dots mean the local host and here they ask you about the dat database name so you need to go to your uh, SQL server and create uh, database and back to v101 let me copy the name okay I will back here here they ask you about the uh, SQL server authentication so I don't have uh, I don't need it I don't use the integrate authentication I don't need now because it's local I don't need to put anything so let's check there it's fine so if you check now your database before we install or do anything if you check your database there is nothing there so uh, let's back to work from here so say continue on So after validate our SQL Server database and config, here will I will say to you, you need to create the website or or here just as uh, you don't want to create the starter. So here as a beginner, we need to see what's this things. So it will take time if you I don't know maybe two or three minutes. I will stop the video. Uh, I will back to you after we finish the installation. So here it's the first screen after we finish the installation. We'll forward you to this page. So they ask you to put the username and the password we already set up in there. So I think this is my password. Yeah, no. Wow. Uh, what was the password? I think like this. Dollar or something. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, great. Let's save it. So here, uh, let's say the dashboard or the control panel for the website. Uh, they give you the welcome. Uh, message to the Umbraco and they give you a small hint what you have here you can follow this tour uh, so the the first things is we need to see it's an Umbraco what's what the website will be looking how in the, in the for the, let's say the front for the website how it will be looking so I will take just to show you in the beginning but before we check here anything here in this one so this is the or the startup website it's created by or generated by Umbraco we have the toolbars and everything is dynamic you can't change it you can't change everything you need and you have let's say let me go to people uh, I think it's easy till now it's many things it's good and easy but let me go to the control panel more so here if you open the home you can see products you can see people let me go same here what we have checked before there's people here so what's mean here uh, I can see all the people that adding, adding before there so if you hit create person so it ask you to write the person name okay uh, let me just write each box what's mean here for each one uh, keyword oh this tags here nice uh, let's say you can add image or upload anything they have their uh, uploader is nice one too so let me just upload anything I don't know if I have any ah yes me that I have the AI images I need a good one okay I choose that one okay uh, so nice uploading here too we put the image already here or photo department I don't know it should be categories here for the department or no there's anything yeah they have already category for this uh, you can write your email let's say a at a.com I'm not just talking too much because just I want to see what what is it uh, let's say Twitter let's say Facebook let's say LinkedIn let's say Insta uh, let's say save now I just want to see what's happening there and how it's dynamic so 
throw the show the image here nice yeah it's something nice i think in the next videos we'll we'll try to see uh, how is it on braco and what they have on braco what's how the developer they can customize it how how how, how to uh, to manage the braco and what's the let's say the new features there because they have the release the new this 8.2 i think the new version they said they they change many things uh, they said many things has been changed so we'll see there and we'll try to maybe create uh, more videos about umbraco and see how how we can manage and customize it uh, see you in the next videos bye bye